I just wa I, I just pulled up an article right now in Washington D.C. last week at a party. Twenty-one people were shot. Twenty-one people. You think if that was if and I'm gonna tell you right, and they were obviously all people of color. If that was a white party or if that was a gay event or something like that, it would be front page news. It would be all over. We'd still be talking about it right now. Yet they gave it 20 seconds on the nightly news. Well, us shooting us is so common. It ain't news no more, man. And, it's, it, and that's the sad part about it. It's no. not even news no more. And, you know, if you got all the intellectuals. Got, they have all the various explanations. Well, you know, we're, 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 that's part of oppression. The self self hatred is this is that it's all that combined with the fact that we have made shooting each other some cool shit to do. Okay, yeah. we made singing about shooting each other some cool shit to do. We made a whole industry of just straight up self annihilation, fucking the yeah. coolest shit in the world. I saw something the other day. I was scrolling through my Instagram page, and I saw something the other day. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna read it to you right quick. So I kept it handy because it was something I really felt was relevant to some of our conversations, okay? It says, uh, we are the only people in the entire planet who have been taught to sing and praise our own uh, de uh, deament. Deament. I am I'm a bitch. I'm a hoe. I'm a gangster. I'm a thug. I'm a dog. If you can train people to demean and degrade themselves, you can oppose them for You can uh, oppress them forever. You can um, you can even program to kill themselves. They won't even understand what happened. Okay, that's Dr. Francis Cress Wesley. Okay, so wow. we have been so programmed into self destruction. We think we invented the shit. Okay, yeah. we have been so programmed into self destruction, self degradation, self uh, hatred that we think we invented this shit, and we, it didn't. Yes, we were tricked into this shit. But once you realize the, the magician has tricked your ass, you can't let you can't you can't applaud that the motherfucking trick no more. Exactly. <laughs> once you see that, once you see behind the curtain and see the Wizard of Oz is just a man with a goddamn some leverage and some smoke. Okay, total pull, total pull the curtain from the Wizard of Oz. You ain't scared of the Wizard no more. But people say they know this. I just had this conversation. I was talking about Cardi B and. And uh, Megan on my, another show. Everybody knows why they do what they do. They want attention. They need likes. They blah blah blah. But meanwhile, right. it has an effect on the overall of, of, of everybody that watches their videos. That the, everybody that listens to their music. It has an effect on them. Okay, it's not a positive effect. It's not making them go to college. It makes them want to be what and they you're said. Talking, you're talking about the song "Wap Wet." Put, yes, I'm not going to say the word to get demonetized, but right. But that that song, it, it wasn't. It was, and here's the part of I'm, I'm confused about. They got and I looked on yesterday. I used it as an example for my a uh, podcast class I teach, and it had 83 million views on it. Is that going to be monetized? And that was the clean version, so I guess that's going to be monetized. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's going to be uh, the 83 million views. That's, that's got to be monetized. So yeah. uh, again. That's a lot of money. That's nice. Somebody gonna get a nice, nice check for that video. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, somebody's kids are gonna be affected by that long term. And see, when you understand, once you understand the media, the media don't play. The media is playing three dimensional chess. We play a checkers on the chessboard. Okay, they play a three dimensional chess. They don't. You know, if um, you don't see us, nobody else having the same issues as we do. Yeah, some white girls do some do some some crazy stuff. They don't do it like we do. Okay, man, I, I don't recall the white girl that's done what we done. That done what they done. I can't recall the white girl that's done it. Now they had, not even Madonna. huh? Not they even had, Madonna. Really. Right. They had a white girl in the, in the they had uh, one of the Kardashians in in the video, and people were actually trying to start a petition to have her edit it out. I saw that. Okay. Why did it, why do they want her out? Because she's not of that caliber. Or she bring the back, bring the video down, or they just want her don't, don't want to represent it in that particular fashion. Mm. Okay, I think it's, I hope it's the third because she's a self made billionaire. Okay, you know obviously she had some help. You know I'm sure she had a little bit of help, but she's she's a she's a legit self made billionaire. I know she's a Kardashian, but I see her as a I see her as somebody that women should look up to, and I think that the fact that she was in that video is what threw people off. 
Mm. Okay. They said that, they said that she was a um, she's a model, but she didn't she didn't say no line. She just walked through the video. She did her little yeah, uh, her, her little walk through the video, but yeah. that was enough to spark some controversy, and people felt that she shouldn't be in the video for whatever reason. So um, I didn't understand why they didn't want her in the video if if they felt she was a culture vulture, okay, or she just didn't didn't qualify to be in the video, or they thought she was too good for the video. Is that is that the question? Okay. Yeah. I don't know yet. I'll find out as I do my research. Yeah, yeah. That video is interesting, man. Um, and it got a lot of a lot of backlash from. Oh yeah, but um, but that's why I brought, that's why I do hood piece, man. Hood piece won't get no backlash. Okay. Yeah. That's see, hood piece is for is for is for the people, for the folks that understand, uh, for the homeowners. Okay. When you're a homeowner, you don't need a bunch of shit jumping off around your house, man. Yep. It, it affects your property value. It affects your uh, your insurance. It affects everything. When you're a renter, you don't understand that. Okay. Yep. Uh, when when you look up and you you got uh, can, a bunch of Karens walking dogs in your neighborhood, you try to figure out what happened because somebody died on Miss Lulu's front yard and they sold her. She got her house, sold her house as soon as possible and got out the hood. I tell you what, when Karen comes to the hood, Karen gonna, she gonna be at the block club meetings. She gonna know the police's name first firsthand, and when you do something yeah. around Karen's house, Karen gonna call the police. She gonna uh, make a report, and her ass gonna be in court to testify against your black ass. All that those no stitching shit don't count. It don't, yeah. It's out the window now, okay? It's out the window. So these are the kind of things that people don't. Under, a lot of people don't understand. Some people do. A lot of youngsters don't understand is when you when you got something, when you've invested money into a piece of property, and you're trying to. Let your property value go up, so go up, so you can leave a legacy for your family. Okay, you you don't need a bunch of dumb stuff happening in the, in the neighborhood. Okay, and it's really sad, man, when it's almost and it, it's still being glorified in this day and age. But all the stuff we have going on in the community is still being glorified, and I can't understand that. 